We are in the greenhouse at last! Hurrah! First greenhouse day of 2018! So, um, this, all this is today is a wee natter in the greenhouse as I'm potting up because I'm just so excited I'm actually in here. First day, 2018, in here to get planted up. It's bloody April, Mother Nature, what are you doing to us? I'm so behind. So, as you can see, I'm in here and I'm planting up. What I do then, I've got this massive big propagator with a big lid that goes on it and I sit it on top of my cord grows to give me some height. And I use these. Little paper pots. When I started out in the garden at first, I had hundreds of little plastic trees and pots and planty on -y things and all sorts of seed trees and stuff. And the thing is, they're great for like the next four or five weeks while I'm doing this, but then I have to store them somewhere because, let's be honest, most of us don't have big fancy greenhouses. We don't have space to store all the stuff we're not using when there's actual plants growing in here. So, I changed to this. Make your own pots out of newspaper. Right. And, oh, check me, look, I've learned, guys. So, I'm going to do this up here. Link, right in the corner, to a video showing you me making these in the blog post of making these and stuff, okay? It's dead, dead easy. Have I got it here? Yeah. Kate bought me this widget that I basically roll newspaper on that bit and squish all the bottom down, put it in there and jam it together. And then that makes these, okay? Now, the beauty of the little paper pots. One, less bloody plastic in this world because it's getting beyond the joke, the amount of plastic and crap everywhere. And that's our fault. So let's do our little bit and try and reuse when we can and not use plastics and stuff if we don't have to. However, that being said, you get your wee paper pots. So that's one benefit. Benefit number two, you don't have to store it, I've already mentioned. And number three, this stuff just disappears, okay? It's it's organic, it uh, compost down. You know, we put this in our hot compost bin. You've seen me doing the videos. Which means I take my little pot of seedlings and I plant them straight into wherever they are going. And the seeds, bur the seeds, the roots burst through this into the soil. You don't have to worry about it. And it all just disintegrates and disappears. So there you go. Number three is just convenience. But I still have to go and do all this, so I have to be filling them up and getting the seeds in them. Now, here we go. Sweet Red Skin F1 Peppers. That was... It was a weird name, so I had to look it up. 644 Bear, who six months ago told me that he gets holes in his peppers, but it's usually earwigs. So I'm going to look out for that this year. But he also recommended... I'm saying he, I don't know. Could be a woman, could be a guy. I'm just totally been making assumptions here. This person, 644 Bear, recommended Redskins. So, if you're watching, I couldn't find any of the Ace and Gypsy, but I got these, so I'm going to give them a try. So this is what I'm just planting up just now. Um, I'm getting peppers planted up and cornichon de Paris. Um, these little buggers caused me a nightmare last year. Um, we planted them in here and oh my god were they successful. However, they are a bit like if you've ever grown pumpkins and squash and that kind of thing. They go mad. So they kind of put out sort of vine type twisty. I can't, I'm, I can't find the words. You know what I mean? They put out like tendrils and stuff. That's it. And they basically took over everything. They wrapped themselves around my brush and all sorts. But they were going down the back of the shelves. And that's what caused the problem because I couldn't get to things. So you're meant to pick those when they're little tiny, kind of like gherkin size. But they were, by the time I got to them, they were like baseball bats, like two or three days later. Um, so the plan is, get them started in here and then I'm going to put them out and put them against one of the fences and see how they do outdoors. So this year's experiment number one. There you go, Cornish on the party. Um, so the rest of it's just the normal stuff. So I'm going to get this all planted up. Um, and I'll see you in a minute when that's done. So there we go. We're all planted up. It's a start for this year. The only thing I've still to do is the flowers and things for the hanging baskets. But we haven't decided on that yet. 
but it feels good to at least get a start on things. So yeah, Quad Grow Plus behind me is starting to look good. Uh, I planted some salad in there a couple of weeks ago, I think, and it's really coming up now. So what I've also got going in this Quad Grow Plus thing that I got, and if you haven't, okay, if you need a good laugh, if you haven't seen the video of me getting this and unboxing it and trying to build it, then again, I'm going to shove it up on the screen for you. I'm facing you, so... Oh, I just don't know. I always get this wrong. It's on my right as I look at... So it should be up here, shouldn't it? Yeah? Along the top, I'll shove a video link for you. Um, and you can have a laugh, because this thing was bigger than me. But I've got the salad in the centre that you've seen. And then on the side, I've got parsley and basil. The basil just... Still isn't happy, it's been too bloody cold in here to be honest. Basil doesn't do well in Scotland, so I might have to replace this. But the idea is basil and parsley because they are soft and really susceptible to the elements. And then I've got some dill planted in this one. Actually planted in the cord grow. I just want to see if it works or if I have to plant in here and then transplant. And again, I've done the same idea on this side with some spinach. I just want to see, it's just a bit of an experiment. Um, what I'm finally also getting to do today is apparently kick the bucket. See, this greenhouse is tiny. It looks bigger than it is because I've got a wide-angle lens on. Um, but what I was saying is, I've also got outside um, the latest batch of compost I got from the hot bin, um, which needed to be dried so I can then sieve it before I use it. But it's been sitting in a black bag for probably up over a month because it's just been ridiculous weather and I couldn't get it dried so I've got it out on a tarpaulin today trying to get it dried so that I can get it sieved um, but that's going to be a bit of fun because Kate and I are going to have to actually build a big sieve so I can do that because I've got one of these little gardening ones and it takes forever so I want a big proper big butch one and um, so yeah so that's me for today first day in the greenhouse the cat wants in the greenhouse <laughs> She only discovered it last week and now she's super adventurous. Um, although that could, it could become a new YouTube thing. We could have me and the cat in the greenhouse. Um, so yeah, so that is me. I just wanted to do a quick update, although I've rambled for 45 minutes now and I'm going to have to edit the hell out of this. But first day, getting to actually plant stuff. How amazing is this? Bring on spring! <laughs>